child i'm out here in these streets looking look at this oh my god i bet the lady at cvs probably was like i hope you're getting a prescription for <laughs> what's around your damn head because baby you looking bad out there oh god all right y'all this video is about to be real fucking ghetto okay i didn't mean to say that word i'm, I'm gonna blink it out but it's about to be ghetto and i ain't editing it okay so this this y'all ready to hear what happened to me this me me y'all this just it just it just it's just what it is okay so a couple months ago hopefully this will stay y'all my hair is so freaking dirty oh my god oh my god hold on let me get right all right oh oh y'all i really gotta do better i gotta get my 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 myself together this weekend for real because i'm out here looking real bad in these people's streets but um let's start off by saying this okay uh in december i think it was december 17th or De december 16th okay this is when my car went down a lot of people don't know this but i did i thought i posted this on my i posted this somewhere and i said this but the reason why y'all um my pontiac had got towed was because the ignition switch in my car had got stuck first of all let me start over hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl jess and Byron peace and this is my story all right bring it back hi welcome back we're back here now back back here all right so um my initial switch in my car boo boo you flying through the parking lot roll over there calm down my initial switch got stuck in my like the key well okay start over my key in the pontiac got stuck in the initial switch right i could at least put some lip gloss on whatever it got stuck. So when my car went down, um, I had to get that fixed. I could not drive my car. And when I took it to get it fixed, they couldn't fix it until like three days later. So being that I could not get my car fixed till like three days later, um, my friend was here with me at the time. And I was like, okay, this, this, it, well, it didn't go like that. It kind of went like, eh, eh, and then it went like, okay, you know what I'm saying? So, my friend was here with me or whatever, and I end up getting his car to stay in his car while I, well, while he was at work, I would stay, I stayed in his car. Basically, I fell asleep in his car with the car on and the seat warmer on, okay? Thank you, you know, this is okay, this is. Yeah, is, you know, I'm chilling in here. You know, it's warm. I got the seat warm. I ain't used to that because you don't get that in the Pontiac. You don't get that in the Pontiac. So I was like, okay, this is cool, you know? So, fall asleep with the seat warm on. Don't know how long I was asleep with the seat warm on, to be honest with you, okay? So, he gets to the car, and um, I wake up. I was in the passenger seat. I wake up, you know, I'm like, oh, okay. I noticed now. When I first put my leg down, it was a little stiff. Just a little stiff. Because I was sleeping with my legs bent in the seat. My leg was just a little stiff. Mind you, y'all, listen to the dates. This happened on December 17th or December 16th. One of those days. Not sure exactly which one. So, it was a little stiff. I was like, oh, okay. What's going on here? You know? So, that was that. Um... A couple days went by, my leg was still kind of like stiff and it, it turned to, it had like a black mark on it, okay? So it was like kind of hurting me and it had like a little black mark. And I was like, oh my God, I think I burnt my leg on the seat, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, this ain't cool. This just ain't cool here, you know? So it was okay at first. And then, I, I don't know how long ago, but I said like another week or so went. And a blister formed over, like, the burnt spot on my leg, right? So, when the blister fold over my leg, I was like, oh, my God. This thing is, like, really huge. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. And my friend, like, I think we should bust it. And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. He was like, I've done this before. We should bust it. So, I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. 
okay, we can bust it, you know? So, first time it, he busted it or whatever, it, liquid came out, it went down, okay? Watch the whole video before you comment, okay? So, the blister went down. So, maybe like a couple days later, the blister came back and it was like 10 times bigger. Like, it was so big, I would wear leggings. You could see the lump on the outside of my leg when I wore, wore my leggings. Like, the lump was on the outside. It was that bad. So, my homeboy, he was like, we got to bust it again. And I'm like, okay, you know me. Not really, like, for this shit, but I'll, is somebody running? Child, that's a bird. Okay, so I was like, um, I was like, okay. So, we busted it again, and it went down. So, when it went down, it was still, like, that layer of skin. It was just, like, kind of flabby or whatever. So, I was like, if y'all gross out by the, if y'all get grossed out easily, don't don't watch this video. <laughs> Skip to another one. <laughs> Skip to a whole another video. But yeah, so it went down. Um, this was when I first moved in my apartment. No, not not when I first moved in my apartment. I say like the end of December. Like this is like two weeks, two weeks in, two weeks in. So my leg was still bothering me, still bothering me. I honestly was not putting nothing on it to actually heal it, heal it. I would put like some type of um butter, like cream stuff that my friend had. I would put it on there like every other day, but not every day. Um, uh, my fault, my fault. So I was like, oh crap, like, you know, my leg, you know, hurts, you know, it's still hurting here. So I saw that like it came like the skin had left off of it and it became like a scab. So I was like, oh my God, you know, it's a scab. This mark is going to be here forever. I'm going to tell my kids this is what happened when, you know, I got this scar on my leg when I was sleeping in the car. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, burn my freaking leg, right? So January, it was like a couple days after I moved to my apartment. I noticed my leg was getting worse. Like, when I say worse, I mean worse. So, I went to the doctor again. Well, not again. This is the first time. This is the first, first time I went to the doctor. It was literally three weeks later after the freaking burn. Okay, go to the doctor. She take a look at it. She's like, you know, just looking at it now. Uh, it looks like it's infected. I'm going to give you this antibiotic. I'm going to give you this cream to put on it. It should be cleared up within seven days. Period. That's all I gotta go. You know, we good there. Yeah, we good, right? We we good. Like, yeah, we, we good. Okay. So that was that. Boom, seven days go by my leg got worse. I said, Oh, I know somebody lying. I know you lying. Y'all, my leg got freaking worse. So I was like, okay. Took all my antibiotics, you know. It had me real, real bad. Your girl had some bad diarrhea. We're gonna be honest, okay? Ass was on fire, okay. And, and it, she told me, she said, now, if you take this medicine, your ass is going to be on fire. Those wasn't her words, but y'all know what I mean. So, I was like, okay, cool. Understand, ass is about to be on fire. So, um, seven days go by. Nothing happens. Today? Well, last night. Last night? I could not freaking take it, y'all. Y'all know I'm on my feet 10 hours a day at work. So I was like, I can't take it. I can't take it. I can tell my productivity at work was not the best at all. Like, my numbers was looking dumb. And my manager knew something was wrong because my numbers don't ever look like that. He was like, you good? No, I ain't good. Somebody sent me to Amcare. Amcare, if y'all don't know, is basically like the nurse's office for Amazon. It's called Amcare. So I go to Amcare. Um, my manager walks with me or whatever. I go to Amcare. I'm going to see the doctor in there. I tell him what's going on, you know, over the counter. And he's, he, he excited, y'all. I tell him, I said, um, I got a burn on my leg. And um, it's it's starting to hurt bad. Y'all, it was to the point, like, my whole, it's on my left leg. My left leg was starting to get, like, really, really numb. Like, numb. And at this point, I'm scared because in my family, uh, we do have, like, diabetes and this, et cetera. Like, other, you know problems and issues and things so i'm at this point i'm just like oh my god i need my leg so what i do um i, I tell him everything he asked me about the dates and stuff and he was like all right just come on back here so i get back there 
And I told him, I said, well, it's right. I, sh I pull up my thing and I, my uh, pant leg and I told him that it was wrapped up or whatever. And he was like, um, I'll go ahead and um, wrap it. As he's unwrapping it, he was like, I'm just so excited about this. You what? Like, he was excited about my womb. He was like, I can't wait to see how it looks. I'm like, why are you so excited? And he basically told me he was a womb care specialist or something like that. And, um... He specializes in womb care, basically. So I was like, oh, okay, I got the right person tonight. How you doing? So he was like really, really excited. And I was like, okay, calm down. You know, just let's make sure we're good here. So he unwraps it or whatever. And he, he's like, okay. All right, so let me tell you what this is. This is a third degree burn. Oh, uh -huh! third degree? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A third. Y'all, not one, not two, three, three. A third degree burn. How the hell I get a third degree burn from a seat warmer? I can see. Oh my god. I said, okay. So that's what that is, huh? And he says, yes. And he was like, so this is what you need to do or whatever. He uh, referred me to this hospital to go to. So I ended up having to leave work early because I kept getting like really lightheaded. And uh, I thought because maybe I didn't eat too, as much or I needed to eat a little bit more. So I had waited a little bit after my break. And I was like, I'm going to eat and see how I feel. Because it probably could be your girl a little hungry because your girl like to eat, you know. But then again, I noticed the past couple of days, my sleep pattern has been stupid. So normally, I would sleep like, like six or seven hours. Like when I say I will get home, because y'all know it take me an hour to get home. I would get home at 6. Why the hell I ain't waking up to like 4.30 p.m.? Bruh. How many hours is that? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. Boom. Boom. 4.30? Oh, my God. I literally leave home at 5.30 every day so that I can get to work. So, I'm just like, that leaves me literally one hour to get dressed, to get food, to get my lunch and everything prepared. Like, one freaking hour. And then, when I get home um, from work, after I work those 10 hours, literally, shower, sleep. You know what I'm saying? I'm sleeping 10 hours. So I knew, like, my body is like, well, you shutting down. You need to get back up, okay? So, I was like, okay, sir, I get it, or whatever. So, I, like I said, I waited till after I ate, or whatever, after um, my lunch break. I go back to my station for a couple hours, and I was like, okay, I can't do it. I can't do it. It got to the point, y'all, my feet was, like, tingling, like, tingling. So, I try to reach out to some people. I'm like, hey, can somebody take me to the doctor? You know, because I don't know, like, what my leg trying to do. I'm trying to drive. It's trying to give out. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, I decide I'm going to just drive myself to the doctor. At this point, I can't get in touch with nobody. I, hell, I don't really know nobody around here neither. So, I drive myself to the doctor. Get to, well, it was the emergency room. I went to the emergency room. Get to the emergency room. Everything was, like, really, really quick, like, because ain't nobody was really in the waiting room. It was just, like, me and one other lady. So, they got me inside or whatever. And, um, they took a look at my, uh, leg. <clears throat> Well, they, they took my vitals first. Um, they took a look at my leg, and I got so scared, y'all, because the doctor, the not the nurse, she, you know, I talked to her first, and then she, I told her what was going on. She um, radioed over to the guy. I guess he was a burn specialist or whatever. Call him over. He looked at my leg, and he was like, "I need to go get a second opinion from my um, supervisor." So I'm just like scared. So his supervisor and another person come in. And I'm just like, "Oh my god." Oh my God, my leg about to fall off. Lord, I don't know what's, what's going on here. So they come in and he take a look at it. And the supervisor, he's like, looking, looking. He was like, yeah, I see some red. And I'm just like, you know, tell me what y'all talking about. <laughs> Fit your girl in. It's my leg. <laughs> it's my leg. So he's like, yeah, I see some leg, um, some red on your leg. Um, it's probably from like straining or whatever. And he was like, um, I, what I did, because I, I always forget this, y'all, but this time I ain't forget. What I did was I took a picture of my antibiotics and the cream that the previous doctor gave me, and I had my dates and everything ready. So once I got to the doctor, I was able to tell them exactly when and what I was giving and whatever. Take note. Take note of that. It helps. So, yeah, I made sure I did that. So um, I'm trying to hurry up before this video ends. But, <laughs> um, so... They look at it, whatever. They test me for diabetes. I don't have diabetes. 
Thank you, God. I don't have diabetes. Um, they gave me a tetanus shot in my arm, so that's why my arm is looking a little stiff over here. But yeah, they gave me a tetanus shot in my arm. And uh, what else? Oh, and he gave me some more cream to put on my leg as well. Y'all, he, he basically said, he said, this is a third degree burn. That is correct. It is a third degree burn. But he said, it's, it looks healthy. And I said, well, it's taking a long time to heal because it's been a month. And he said, with the third degree burn, it's going to take a very long time to heal. Um, so basically, what I have to do is follow up with another doctor um, after a week. And I, I got off at 2 a.m., y'all it's not like i i haven't even been home let me show you i literally still got the wristband on like this ain't no joke like i haven't even been home i'm sleepy i'm hungry i was the first person at walmart today at like every day i literally still got my wristband on y'all like i am freaking tired i took my prescription over to cvs and got it filled i'm waiting on them so i can go home and go to sleep i would sleep in here in my car but i don't have i don't have anything all i have is my jacket and my purse and my lunch bag i don't got no cover no pillow no nothing and it's cold so whew, bring it back in baby bring it back in what i'm trying to say in this video y'all is make sure y'all take care of yourself because i do this all the time i always be telling my friends my family i be like um you going to work but this and this hurts on you your health comes first your health comes first and i did this for a pa a, the past couple days because it was hurt it was getting hurt it was hurting me and i kept saying i'm gonna go in the morning i'm gonna go in the morning i'm gonna go in the morning do not put that shit off go when you're supposed to go okay don't wait if you feel something that is not right with your body do not wait because it can be a lot worse don't wait and i'm glad i did not wait another day another second because i could not y'all i can tell my body was like girl you tried it try again you feel me all right y'all so um that's all i had to say in this video i'm not gonna show y'all the room unless y'all want to see the room y'all nasty if y'all do it it's wrapped up matter of fact let me see if i can show y'all oh it's right here yeah it's wrapped up and some of my uh, pictures and videos on Instagram, you can see that my womb is um, on my leg or whatever. But yeah, that's that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Oh, child, I need to. Oh, I got to get it together. All right. Thank you all so much for stopping by and watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember, vibe in peace.